welcome to my channel this is sam and i am playing starfield it's very painful man my life i don't know now i'm playing how long i can job in real life maybe i can apply for a job in a game for an interview yet oh, wow in this is proud to include the following companies with their own network arboron drone tayago astroneering and tranquilitya tranquilitya questions from these things founded in 2307 by Reedy Carries and Itaru Saito Ryujin's first product was based on the Carries and Ryujin's first product was the Neuro Amp Designed to improve overall brain function.
the game. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, Those and yet in the game. I still Sorry, get sick on life. that. Let's see. I will try not to fail. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. What the fuck? I have to go to Neon for this interview. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Hmm. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. First time we check what missions I can do there, then I will go from that area. So, traveling around takes a lot of time. I know I have uh, improved a little bit. John Tuala in Mast. is in Europa another mission this one is in another place which for which it is showing to me to go to the ship and this neon is another place Sergeant Yumi just happens to be an old friend. This is Sergeant Yumi. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. You did, huh? Gotta admit, I was against the sign at first. It felt cheesy, you know. Like we're hiring a dishwasher, or one of those dancing clowns. But here you are. Can't argue with effectiveness. And if nothing else, New Atlantis security is just that. Effective. When we're fully staffed, that is. But we're not. Long story. And need some help. You interested? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have any security experience? 
at all. Now that is exactly what we need. Someone willing to learn. We're not talking urban pacification here. This is safety and security. Easy. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Aegis, they're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalls. Tit for tat. You know how it works. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. You know, MAST. The, the Military, Administrative, and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city. Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Let me know if you have any questions.
खिचड़ी बना हुआ ही है It's you and me from here out. of time relaxing rather than planning I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the I full time. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really isn't. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for a type of alien flora or fauna or a planet with a specific quality like if it's prime to have life but doesn't yet well right now nothing's off the table metallurgical analysis chemical composition i'm looking at everything one thing i'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology i don't know if it will help in this case But the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay pretty well too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Anything I can learn from is a help. Anything I can learn from is a help. Stay safe, okay?
to swing inside but I can't Spends a fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. Why is it showing me that? of the importance of Constellation's contributions to exploration. See, it was right in front of me. Could not check. Let's go for a helmet. 
still I have zero cosmetics. Come on. So that cream did not help. Okay, let's go back. Isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. You did give me some work, right? Yes, well, I had good reason to be distressed. You had already helped me establish that there is something unprecedented going on with this tree. Now my superiors have been made aware. There is growing concern. Oh well, my, a bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time, while I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> Per personnel issues, if you understand me. Not necessarily, but if you're offering your services, you've certainly proven to be reliable help in the past. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Oh, thank you. At last I knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process? Stand a little to the left. I think you're blocking my readings. Oh, it's important research. I won't bore you with the technical details, but it's critical that I get this done. Freeze. Ah, uh, I see what's going on here. 
You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Oh yeah? You think so? Wow, thanks for that. I'll really give it some thought. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm, maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. What the fuck? Well, then I guess we don't have anything else to discuss. And Kelton can just forget about getting his hands on the data. See you around. Changed your mind, did you? Willing to help me get a promotion? Fine. I'll figure out some other way to get what I want. <laughs> Changed your mind, did you? Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay! I'll follow your lead, but I wish handling our tree issue didn't involve using illegal methods to get the job done. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of... locked. <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. I don't want to cause problems, really. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. <laughs> this is how you get the sentiment persuade. the data. It's really quite crucial. Yes, I'm sure I do. Especially since Emilio was involved. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in the legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance.
liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Statistical average, psychological tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it, and are using it to identify field agents. Normally, we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Take the net to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in MAST. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. UC Security responds to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. But is this your first day on the job? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just giving you a hard time. I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve, and we're the good guys. Our main yeah, priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. It is a word that has been used, both for good and ill to describe us at times. Well, you're certainly entitled to that opinion. And there are plenty of others who share it. We'll be looking out for you just the same. Good luck with the mission. Get the package, deliver it to Sergeant Yumi, and complete the mission. Man, it's going on for so long. So we are taking the net. that place oh, it was very it was easy to get I just have to deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job is done Still have questions? Go ahead and ask. Nicely done. It's 
it's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? As am I. And the best part is, since you're all part-timers, there's no paperwork. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Let's go talk to Sarah's contacts. There was a mission there, right? Talk to Sarah, uh, Sarah's contact. Where was that? My contact is in Vanguard recruiting, so expect a sales pitch when you need it. Yeah, we have to go up. Joining up with the Vanguard, help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship. United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Hey, Vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Easy there, John. We all have our sore points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right. I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets. 
but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. You'll have to ask him. The Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. We have to go down. Come on, the Tuala about joining the Vanguard. Damn it. Uh, you okay? That was a hell of a jump. get any fall damage and I have jumped from way higher than this so it's all right Sidonia. Wait. Sidonia is here. traveling from one Milky Way to another. Actually, if fast traveling. Mining gun. She is with me. Building Sedania is completely underground with a clear array of heat city shielding from the harsh Martian landscape. You don't guess. 
You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking at my bar. You ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But, <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Now I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? I want him found. I do. All right, I'll give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, my wearer kept yelling about the lady of love. Just singing songs. I like that lady. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. See? Let me see. Okay, it's already fifty four minutes, so Go to Venus. But if I see that uh, Time to go?
minimize ship system power to avoid detection systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect for maximum stretch power down all systems except one or two bars in your engines stay as far away from the enemy ships as you can get within 500 meters of the satellite begin activate it okay Defend your ship. So we'll start from here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll again go there. We'll do as per needed. Bye guys. Have a good day. See you soon.